So for Ohm's law, you can connect resistors in different ways, and we're gonna look at um, the parallel and series connection of the resistors. So for series connection, um, I'm gonna come back to the picture you see on the top a little bit later. Let me start with examples first. So if you have resistor connected in series, at first, I'm gonna tell you the Ohm's law. So Ohm's law states that the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. And um, I have more videos related to this, this topic and the introduction to um, Ohm's law and, and also examples videos um, attached to this um, lesson. So look in the description if something is confusing, maybe you should watch those videos first. And if there's additional videos to watch next, I'll also post after this one. So, so voltage is um, measured in volts, and it's how much work is needed to move the charge from one point to another. Current is how many coulombs, so how many bu um, buckets of electrons pass in a point in a second. So if you imagine electrons are riding in the buckets or cards, and how many cards with electrons pass in a point in a second is um, going to be the current measured in amps. So voltage is V measured in uh, volts, I is current measured in amps, and resistance depends on the, um, so if you have a resistor, let's say this is a resistor, you will have more resistance the longer the resistor is, so when the current, the current or the electrons are trying to pass through the resistor, the longer it is, the more resistance it will have. Also, the wider it is, and with the same length, the less resistance you will have because it's going to be easier for electrons to get through the wider resistor. So the area um, does matter for when we talk about the resistance. And also what it's made of, maybe um, there is another, the same, same wire, the same size, but it's made of a different material. So if it's, let's say, material that is more resistant to the current, it will have more resistance, even though it has the same area, um, sectional area as the other one. So the resistor is measured in ohms. So you can have volts measured in vol volts and volts, um, current in amps, and the resistance is measured in ohms. So back to the problem. If I have one resistor, and I'm going to say this one is 2 ohm resistor, and I have 12, let's do 24, 24 volt battery, then I can calculate the current that is leaving my battery by using ohm's law. V is equal to IR, then I is equal to V divided by R, that gives me 12 amps. If I decide to connect, um, and I'm going to look at it this way, the voltage, the voltage, I started in the previous video, so if you want to watch it, you can all as well. So the voltage is um, how much money I have in my pocket. The... So the battery, and also the battery has the longer side, the shorter side, the longer is positive, the shorter is negative, and the current is always floating from the positive to the negative. So the voltage is going to be the money, the resistance is going to be like a bridge, so if you want to pass through the bridge. Um, and every time you have to pass the bridge, there is a sign you have to pay money. And um, the amps of the current is going to be my aliens. So, looks like there's 12 aliens leaving the house. They have $24 in their pocket. By the time they pass the resistor they have to pay all the money that they have so um in in circuits they usually measure the voltage and amps or the current with measuring devices so the volt 
voltage could be measured with the voltmeter and it's always connected parallel to the resistor where you want to measure or to the elements you want to measure so right here i would have to give 24 volt away to pass this um, resistor because that's how much money i had when i left the house so i go and then i see the bridge i'm gonna have to pass the bridge i have to pay 24 as soon as i pass 24 pay 24 i came back um, all 12 aliens got back home, will take refill their pockets and go all over again. And um, so now I'm going to change a little bit the problem. I'm going to clean it up and redraw it. So I had um, 24 volt battery and I had a resistor of 2 ohm. I'm going to add another resistor of 4 ohm. And this connection is called series connection. When you see one after another, it's called series connection. Also, a lot of books, um, they use not the boxes that I use, they use something like this or something like this. So for, for the resistors, usually the symbols are used. For the battery, the, um, the volt, the volt battery that I drew, the, the symbol that I drew, used, um, but I like to draw the boxes more than um, those zigzags. So I'm going to say 24 volts right here. So my total resistance now is 6 volt. So sometimes they ask you to calculate the total resistance. You can see a symbol like this, the sum, the sum of all resistances, or you can see the total resistance. So for series connection, all I have to do is just add them. So it looks like there is going to be 6 ohm. If I'm looking for the current in the circuit, again, it's the voltage divided by the resistance. My voltage is 24 volt and resistance is 6. So that I have 4 amps current. So my current is 4 amps. So the current is 4 amps. That means that's how much money, um, how many aliens are leaving the house. When they leave the house, they have twenty-four dollars in their pocket or twenty-four volts in their pocket. When they pass the first resistor or the first bridge, they will have to pay some of that money. When they pass the second resistor, they will have to pay the rest of that money. And together, these two will give me. 24 volt so to calculate how much dropped uh how much money dropped or how much voltage dropped over the first resistor and the resistance uh, voltage is measured parallel um, there are devices to measure the voltage and the currents the voltage can be measured with voltmeters and um, the current can be measured with ammeters so if i want to calculate volts always measured parallel so you connect voltmeter parallel. If you want to measure how much voltage is dropped on the first resistor, you again use I times R formula. So I is 4 and R is 2. That gives me 8 volt is dropped right here. For the second resistor, again using Ohm's law, I times R gives me 4 times 4, which is 16 volts. And if you see, if you notice right here, um, I have 8 volt and I have 16 volt, which gives me 24 volt is lost. And if I change this problem and add another resistor, so here I added another resistor. So my total resistance in this case, my total resistance in this case is equal to 12 ohm. Uh, the current in this circuit is equal to V divided by 12 gives me 2 amps. So there are two aliens leaving this battery. Uh, they have 24 volt to spend. When they pass this resistor, they pay two times two, two amps times two ohms gives me four volts. When they pass this resistor, they will pay two amps times four. So I use I times R, gives me eight volt. And when they pass this resistor, they pay 12 volt, 12 volts. So together added gives me the same 24 volts. 
So that is when you have resistors connected in series. After we did this problem, let's go back and look at what's on this graph and what is given. So based on what we just did, this is what we um, looked at. The current that is passing through over each bridge is the same. In other words, if I have six aliens leaving the battery, the same six aliens will have to pass through each bridge. There is nowhere to get off of this line. So it's like on a pipe. They all ran through the same pipe. They have to pass through one resistor. They have to pass through another resistor. They have to pass through the third resistor in order to get home. So the current in series connection is the same for every single resistor. So every single resistor will see exactly the same amount of aliens. But the voltage in the series connection is the sum of all the voltages. So the voltage dropped here, plus the voltage dropped here, and plus the voltage dropped here will add up. So this voltage, this voltage, this voltage will add up and give you the total, sometimes they call it EMF. Uh, the total voltage that your battery had. So the total voltage is going to be the sum of every single voltage in the circuit. So, um, and the total resistance to calculate, you just added them. You just added 2 ohm resistor, 4 ohm resistor, and a 6 ohm resistor to get the total resistance of 12 ohm. So for a series connection, you need um, to add all the voltages together to get the total voltage equal to the battery. Your current is the same. Your current is the same through every single resistor. And to find the total resistance, you add them. Let's look at the parallel connection. So it's still the same I times R, V is equal to I times R. I'm gonna have the same 24 volt battery and I'm going to connect one resistor for now. So again, this is 2 ohm resistor. So if I have 2 ohm resistor, my current here is 12 amps. That means through this resistor, I will have 12 amps. The voltage that is dropped on this resistor, so if I connect it in parallel, I will see that the voltage drop is um, 24 volt as much as I had when I was leaving the house. So um, I'm gonna drop this on right here and rewrite this 24. If you had to measure current, if you had to measure current, you would have to disconnect the circuit and plug in an ammeter inside to measure the current. So there would be ammeter. If you want to measure the voltage, you have to plug in parallel to the resistor to measure the voltage. So I'm going to change the question and I'm going to add another resistor in parallel now. So if I connect the resistor in parallel, it's not that I'm connected it in the same line. I'm going to connect it parallel to the resistor that I already have. So I'm going to connect it right here it's parallel and I'm gonna say that this resistor now is um, 4 ohm let me draw something here that you, will make sense for you so I have a battery and there was one resistor 2 ohm the voltage is the potential difference between two points so it's by how much more electrons on one side to compare to the other. What's the difference in charge? So if I measure the voltage between here and here, let's say this is my 24 volt battery, it will show me 24. So if I use the voltmeter and I measure the potential difference between these two points, it will show me 12, 24 volts. If I measure here, it's still gonna show me 24 volts because it's just the wire, right? It's the wire that connects the um, the resistor so there is nothing else sitting on that wire but the one resistor if I measure it between this point and this point it's still 24 if I measure it between this point and this point it's still 24 volts now I'm gonna connect another resistor and this one is gonna be 4 ohm resistor do you see they are connected in parallel 
If they're connected in parallel, that means the point between here and here is still 24 volts because it's the same connection to the same point on the battery. They still share the same point. So it's the same as having this. The battery, I have two ohm resistor, and then I have four ohm resistor. They both have 24 volt in common. So for parallel connection, they share the same voltage. For series connection, they all share the same current. For parallel connection, they will share the same voltage. And because they share the same voltage, that means that between these two points, I have 24 volts. 24 volts divided by R, so from Ohm's law, V divided by R gives me the current, which is 12 amps. And again, 24 divided by 4 gives me 6 amps here. That changes how many aliens left the house. Before I had 12 aliens leaving the house. Now I have 18 aliens. The current increased. So when I add another resistor, my current is increasing. I had 18 aliens and 12 of them went this way, but 6 of them went this way. 6 went through that path because there's more resistance, so not many of them want to go that way. Uh, more of them want to go through less resistance. I'm going to add another resistor, and I'm going to say this resistor is 6 ohm now. So again, they still share the same voltage because they still connected to the same point on the battery. That means here I'm going to have, through this resistor, it's 24 volts, 24 volts, divided by 6 gives me 4 amps. That changes how many aliens left the house again. That gives me 22 amps leaving the house. 12 went this way, 12 went this way, 6 went this way, and 4 went that way. And um, when they come in back, it's still the same 22 amps. And it doesn't matter which way they decided to go. So the aliens that decided to go this path, remember, they have to pay $24. They pay all their $24 and come back home. The aliens that decided to go this path still have to pay the same $24 to get back home. And the aliens that went this path still had to pay $24 to get back home. So it doesn't matter which path they took, which bridge they decided to cross in order to get home, they all paid the same um, voltage. But the current here is the sum of all the currents. So aliens that go this way, this way, and this way actually add up to total number of 22 amps right here. So the current is the sum of all the currents and the voltage is the same for all of them. Also, I mentioned this, but I didn't tell you the rule yet. Um, when you have resistors connected in series, you have to add them together. So if there is one resistor, two resistor, three resistors. So the sum of all resistors is going to be the first one plus the second one plus the third one and so on. But when it comes to parallel connection, there is a formula. So for parallel connection, they share a nod. So if they share the nod or nods and their currents are not the same. And let me tell you what means currents are not the same. So their voltage is the same, right? So if they are all connected to the battery this way, and the voltage is 12 volt, and this is two ohm resistor, and this is two ohm resistor, and this is four ohm resistor, then the current is gonna go from positive to negative, and then it's gonna split. Because they all share the same voltage, 12 divided by two gives me six amps here, 12 divided by four gives me three amps through this resistor, and 12 divided by 2 gives me 6 amps through that resistor. But 6 amps through this resistor are not the same as 6 amps through that resistor. 
So if there are six, three, and six running out of the um, through each resistor, that means there are 15 amps leaving the battery. So 15 adians leaving the battery. And through this bridge, through the first one, through the first bridge, will pass six amps, and through the third bridge will pass six amps. But these are different six amps. It's like twins, but they're not the same exactly person. So even though they have the same current, they it's not exactly the same same current. They, they just have the same um, amount of buckets of charges passing through point in a second, the same number, but it's not exactly the same current. On the other hand, when you have parallel uh, series connection, when you have series connection, and let's say all of this was connected to um, 24 volt battery, and this was two ohm resistor, this was three ohm resistor, and let's see what this one is. Um, five, let's make something easy that would be calculating. One ohm resistor. So the total resistance in this case is equal to six. So that means if it is six, the current is four amps. So four aliens will run through this bridge, then the same four aliens will run through this bridge, the same four aliens will run through this bridge. So in serious connection, when I say it's the same current for all of them, I mean it's exactly the same current. So if there was an observer here, there's an eye, there is another eye, there is another eye, these observers will see exactly the same four aliens running through every single bridge. But in this case, uh, in parallel connection, there are six aliens running through this one and six aliens running through this one, but they're not exactly six aliens, not the same as in serious connection. So for... Um, for how to calculate the total resistance in each case. For serious connection, all you have to do is to add the resistors and that will give you the total resistance of the circuit. Uh, for parallel connection, it's a little bit different. So there is a formula, but I try to avoid this formula and I'm gonna show you the little trick how to do it faster. So for parallel connection, there is a formula. If you want to find the total resistance, then you have to use this formula. One over the total resistance is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and plus as many resistors in parallel as you have. So you have R1, R2, R3 and all of them connected in parallel to the battery. So 1 and 2 and 3 you want to find the total resistance using this formula. And it looks really complicated. So I try to avoid this formula and um, not to bother about mathematics in regular physics at least. What I do is, I'm gonna say this one is two ohm resistor. This one is um, three ohm resistor. And this one is six ohm resistor. And this is 12 volt battery. So I know the current through the first one is going to be six amps. The current through the second one is gonna be four amps. And the current through the third one is going to be two amps because they all share the same voltage, 12 volts. So 12 over two gives me six amps, 12 over three ohm gives me um, four amps and 12 over 6 gives me 2 amps. So the total resistance that is leaving the battery is uh, 12 amps. So now I want to find the total resistance. So how do I find the total resistance? What I do is I have this rule. 1 over, 1 over, the result flip over. So I do 1 over the first resistor, 2 ohm, plus 1 over the second resistor, 3 ohm, plus one over the last resistor, which is six ohm. And the, to the, to the, the common denominator is six. So I have to change the first one into the denominator six. So I times it by three and three. So I have a three on the top. The second I have to times by two and two. So I have a two on the top. And the third one, I don't have to do anything. So I just have one. So what I got is six 
over 6. So I did my 1 over, 1 over, 1 over, I got the result. But now, if to find the total resistance, the total resistance, I have to do flip over. So I'm going to flip it over, and this will be my total resistance in a parallel circuit. So what I do again, it is 1 over, 1 over, 1 over. I get my result, flip over. So let's look at one of the uh, examples and try to solve them, or maybe two, for the last five minutes that I have in the video until it turns 30 minutes. And then I'll do another, uh, the third video. Um, the first one was an easy introduction, and you can find at the end of um, where I do static electricity. So at the end, I have a little bit about circuits. This is the full um, first video connect, uh, related to the solving circuits. And I'm going to do examples right now. And I'm going to do more examples in the next video that is coming, in the third video. So let's look at the first example. I need to find the voltage and the current in um, each branch of the circuit. So at first I need to find the total resistance of the circuit. So the total resistance is 1 over 1 over result flip over because it's a parallel connection. So I have 1 over 1 over and 1 over 3. The common denominator is 6. So to make each denominator into 6, I times the first one by 6, second by 3, and the third one by 2. So 6, 3, and 2 times each one of those. So I will have a 6 plus 3 and plus 2. So if I add those two, I have 11. So I have 11 over 6 as my result, but it's 1 over 1 over 1 over, the result flip over. So if I put the result over, it's going to be 6 over 11 ohm. So the total resistance of the circuit is 6 over 11 ohm. So that means I can replace my three resistors, so instead of three resistors, I can place just one resistor, which is 6 over 11 ohm. And the circuit is still going to be the same. Nothing is going to change. As for the battery, will not even know that something, some changes were made. Um, so, And I'm looking for the voltage. And here is the current that they give you is 22 amps. To find the voltage, I can use uh, Ohm's law. V is equal to I times R. So V is equal to I is 22, and R is 6 over 11, the total resistance. So 12 over 11 gives me 2, and times 6 gives me 12 volts. So that is 12 volts. Now, since I know that this is 12 volt, I can come back here and calculate my current through each one of them. Because they're parallel connected, this parallel connection, they all have the same voltage, 12 volts, so each one of them has 12 volts. And the current through the first one is 12 divided by 1, so that's 12 amps. 12 divided by 2 is 6 amps, and 12 divided by 3 is 4 amps. And if I add 12, 6, and 4, I get 22 amps that left the battery. So it looks like 22 aliens left the battery. 12 of them went this way, 6 of them went this way, and 4 of them went this way. Together it will give you 22, and when it, they come back home, they will have those 12, um, 22 amps all together again. And um, follow the links below this video. Uh, one is to watch before and one to watch after. Uh, but you also can start watching from this video and then just watch the second one because I repeated everything I did at the end of the first video.